How am I going to go from a Raspberry Pi with a simple e-paper display attached to it to a wall-mounted, real-time electricity price? Stick around to find out. I've had this Pi with the e-paper display sitting on my desk for literally years. I used to use it to check real-time Ethereum prices and how my validator was doing, but I've recently unrolled my validator, so I don't really use this very much. I'm in a state with some of the most expensive power prices in the world, and I recently switched to a provider that gives me more real-time access to prices rather than staying stable at some certain relatively high price. One of the main things I'm trying to get across in this channel is trying to be more conscious. So I thought it'd be something I could be more conscious during the day as when the sun's out, the prices go way down. And then in the evening when everybody has their air conditioner or their heating on, it just goes way up. So I want something I can look on the wall and see what the price is. I initially thought of just, you know, going all out and making a home assistant tablet on the wall or something and showing all the graphs and things. I already have a Google Home. I'm just gonna use that for most everything, except something has to show the power price. So we're gonna go with this little setup. I know how to do it. It's really just gonna be running Raspbian, and then I just need to basically write a Python script which will tell the screen to update once a minute. That all sounds well and good. It's been a little while since I've programmed in Python, so I gotta go figure out how VS Code works and go find something I could use to mount this Pi to the wall. Let's get started. As with many things in engineering, I didn't do this because it was easy. I did it because I thought it was gonna be easy. It took me a bit longer to get my Python environment ready to do some debugging, but once I did, it was as easy as getting my power provider's API. So Amber is my provider, getting their API. The API was quite documented, so it was quite easy for me to go say, all right, I want the price now, I want some forecasts, and I wanna know what my usage was. Those are the main three things that I'm after. So that was pretty easy in terms of requirements. So when it came time to implement, all I really needed to do was take my old code that looked at my Ethereum validator and turn it into something that is pulling the current price, the forecast price, and my past usage. So I've done that right here. And it turned out quite good. So I got a pretty good e-paper display thing going here, and I've been pretty happy with it. So what's the next step after this? Well, I went on Thingiverse and found myself a little 3D printed Pi, essentially a little way that I can, you know, put a 3M strip in the back of this and go attach this to the wall. So I can have the Pi sitting on the wall in the kitchen exactly where I want it. After I got this Python code sorted out, I've been pushing the code to GitHub and I'll put the link down below so you can go check that out if you're interested in this project. All you really need to do is figure out if your electricity provider has an API and then, you know, go buy these two things. So you got a Pi and you got an e-paper display. I will acknowledge this is ironically not the most power efficient way to do this. I'm gonna acknowledge that because I just had these things sitting around. So this thing is a couple watts, so I don't know, you know, five, ten dollars a year. I think it's gonna be saving me more money in the consciousness that it's gonna bring me when it comes to running my appliances over what it's going to cost, and I'm happy to pay that. Now, if I was doing this from scratch and buying stuff from scratch, I'd probably do this with some ESP32 type thing, or I would probably just go all out and actually integrate a home assistant into the wall downstairs. So just get a tablet and do home assistant for real. Because that's probably a better use than having, you know, Google Home, which I currently have, and this new e-paper thing. But this is what I've chosen for now. Who knows, down the track, I might change. If you want to ask me any questions on this project, you should jump in my Discord. In there, you also can learn how to become a more social engineer, which I think every engineer should do, and you can meet some like-minded people along the way. Well, there you have it. So, like with many things in engineering, I didn't do this because it was easy. I did it because I thought it would be easy. It really wasn't that difficult, but it was a little bit more time, mostly setting up my development environment than I expected. Even though it's been just a few hours, I've already found quite a bit of value in having this little ticker on the wall, and I look forward to being more conscious over the coming days. Speaking of growing your consciousness, you should jump further into my IQ playlist up here. Or if you're ready to jump to EQ, you should get moving right down here. Or you can keep doing exactly what you've been doing and you'll be getting exactly the same results that you've been getting.